is a shocker to Revelation. Good day, first world travellers, and welcome back. Okay, today I'm in Tokyo, and I'm going to show you around Japan's famous convenience stores, otherwise known as konbinis. Now, when I tell people I've been to Japan, not once, but twice, the first thing they always say to me is, how do I afford it? Japan is so expensive. Okay, yes, there are elements of Japan that are expensive. However, food especially is one area in particular that you can save on, especially if you're like me and you don't particularly enjoy Japanese food or in general, local food or street food in any country. So, convenience stores, konbinis. There are three main chains of konbinis. The first one's behind me. It's Family Mart. 7-Eleven, Lawson Station, or just Lawson. And finally, Mini Stop. This is a much smaller chain, to be honest, I've only seen it in Tokyo. However, it does have an equally as good a range as the other three. And each of them are literally spectacular, amazing, brilliant. I cannot think of any more good words to say about konbinis. They're just brilliant. They're quite possibly one of my favorite things about Japan. So in this video, I am gonna show you what I get on a daily basis when it comes to food. I do have a budget, so generally I'll spend about a thousand yen per day, which is about nine dollars, ten US dollars, something like that. And I generally only have about two meals a day, so one about eleven and one about six. Additionally, just for the purposes of this video, I will be buying more things, obviously just to show you what sort of stuff you can get. So, uh, who wants to get some food? Come with me. Family Matt Beatbox. <laughs> Okay, the first brilliant thing in Family Mart, hear that jingle. As you come in, that will be going around your head, like, non-stop. So, okay, things I get. So, milk cocoa, is, it's absolutely brilliant. It might sound ridiculous, it's just a, you know, coffee drink, chocolate drink, but it's gorgeous. It is 142 yen. Now, just a point on the price label, so there's two prices on it. The higher one is the one with tax, so in terms of budgeting, that's the best one to go by. Okay, these sandwiches are quite possibly the best thing ever. My favourite is the egg one, which I'm gonna get, I think. I literally have these every day, wonderful. They are 198 yen. Okay, also in terms of breakfast, each of the konbinis has a fantastic like bakery bread section. So let me just put my stuff down. So you have things like this. It's like a roll with noodles in it, crazy. And you've got hot dogs. And what else have you got? Things like, whatever they are, some sort of bread related item. Oh, and this is my fave. Look at this. It's basically just like a hot dog roll full of chocolate and cream. Beautiful, that is 118 yen. Now, one of the things you might be concerned about is being able to read packaging. However, if you look at all the Family Mart branded stuff, like this, for example, I've got no idea what that says. However, at the bottom, it does say Baby Star Crispy Snack Balls Chicken Flavoured. So, in terms of understanding things in English, A, look at the pictures, but also just read the English description. On the back, nothing's in English, so if you are, I don't know, allergic to nuts or celiac disease or something like that, you might need to do your research first. However, I'm fine, so I can eat these selection of chocolate biscuits for lunch. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, in terms of something else for a snack or lunch, you also have these. So, I don't know what they're called. I'm calling them seaweed triangle or something like that. So basically they are seaweed or something with rice inside. So Japanese rice with a filling. So it might be something like tuna, meat, other seafood, shrimp, etc. So I don't really know what's in them. However, you can pretty much tell by the look of them. So um, we'll take a guess. Now I don't normally like this sort of thing. I don't like pretty much anything Japanese. I don't like seaweed. I do like rice. However, that much rice is very stodgy, very clumpy. It will fill me up literally after one bite. But I'm going to give it a go in the spirit of being a traveller. So um, wish me luck. Now Japan of course would not be Japan without cup noodles. If you haven't seen my video from the Cup Noodle Museum in Yokohama, I'll put that up there down in the description below. It is brilliant, you've got to go there. Okay, here goes nothing. So I just want to point out at this point, make sure you check out another channel, Chasing a Plate. It's Thomas and Sheena, they're from New Zealand. They were recently in Japan and they did a video on convenience stores. And it's because of you, Sheena, that I am trying this. 
Here goes nothing. I'm not sure what's inside it, but. Ooh! You know what? I like this. So, um, the seaweed has got a nice, it's kind of salty taste, which is nice. Obviously, it comes from the sea. And the rice isn't too stodgy. It looks like the one I've got has got tuna in it. This is a shocker to revelation. I am literally going to collapse. I cannot believe I like this. So, um, Thomas and Gina, you have introduced me to something that I actually like. The world rejoices. Okay, you know how it is. You've had your breakfast, you've had your lunch, and it's the middle of the afternoon and you want a snack. Well, I've got just a solution for you. It's literally the best thing ever, yet again. This is a mini stop, by the way, but you will find these in pretty much every convenience. So, I'm one of those people that likes to walk down the street with a packet of salami or cheese and just eat it out of the packet. Well, you can do that here. So, um, these are 203 yen. It's basically just like salami sticks. There is proper pork, which is good. You've also got things like this, random cheeses. One thing you do get in other stores, which I'll put over the top of this, is small little Austrian cheeses. They're brilliant. The one thing about these though, not these, but the ones in places like Lawson, is that the individual pieces of meat or cheese will generally be individually wrapped, like sweets, you know. Really frustrating in terms of packaging, but I guess in terms of freshness, it really helps. So, um, yeah, <laughs> these are the best things ever. Ah. Okay, I'm done in mini stop. I'm hunting for a Lawson now. Just on, like, where they are, there's literally tons of combinis, you cannot miss them. So there's a family mart on every street, 7-Eleven. Lawson, however, especially in Tokyo, doesn't seem to be as prevalent. That's a good word. But I'm gonna find one because I need to go through dinner stuff to show you what I can have for dinner. Right, this is hilarious. I've walked past two family marts and four 7-Elevens. Four? Yeah, I still haven't found a Lawson. I didn't have this problem last time. So on the way, um, I'll point out these things. Basically, you'll find these everywhere. They are a godsend if you're a traveler and you're out all day doing stuff like I do. Basically, just vending machines. Brilliant. Anything from like 100 yen to 160 normally for a drink. I think I'm gonna need one, it's baking hot. Good news, I think I see the sign for Lawson up ahead, so uh, I'll just cramber over these cardboard boxes and go to Lawson. This video was meant to be simple, but as always, it's not turning out like that. So, I've discovered the elusive Lawson. Look at this funky sign, it's amazing. Let's go and have a look what we can get for dinner. So in terms of dinner, you do have a few options if you're on a budget. So, let me show you a ready meal. For example, you get things like, that's not spaghetti bolognese, but you do get spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti carbonaras, they are about 490 yen. So it's probably half your budget if you're on a thousand um, yen a day. Another thing I like to do is get one of these. It's basically just a chicken breast vacuum pack. They do different varieties of them as well. Have it with our boiled egg, a bit of tuna and a bit of sweet corn. And it's a healthy meal for very cheap. These chicken things are, how much are they? 210 yen. And another good thing you can get for a cheap meal is stuff like this. It's basically egg mayonnaise salad, which is 120 yen. They do a wonderful potato salad as well that I've had before. Stunning, so, you know, a bit of chicken, potato salad, job done. Healthy dinner and it's cheap. Also for dinner, um, okay, if you don't want to get a ready meal, you can get pasta if you don't like Japanese food like me. Now, be prepared because there's not a lot of pasta selection in Konbini's. However, you can get some spaghetti. You can get regular like that or you can get wholemeal spaghetti. And the really good thing, as you can see, it's uh, split up into portions. So if you're a complete idiot like me when it comes to cooking, you end up cooking a, a, enough for about 100 people, this is ideal for you. And to go with your pasta, you do of course have a meat sauce. Very simple, that is 105 yen, and the spaghetti's 170. Right, it's time to leave Lawson and tot up how much what I've bought today comes to, to show you that you can live on a budget in Japan. So um, let's do that now. So let's do a recap. Okay, and just remember this is on a very basic day, so this is the bare minimum. So in terms of breakfast, I had an egg sandwich, which is 198 yen. 
I had the milk cocoa drink, which was 142 yen. I had a snack later in the afternoon, the salami things, which were 203. And for dinner, I was lazy and I got the spaghetti bolognese ready meal from Lawson, which was 498. So the total of these four things comes to 1041. My budget was 1000 for the day. So 41 yen over, ain't gonna break the bank, is it? So brilliant. So that goes to show that you can live on a budget in terms of food in Japan. Okay, that's it for this video. If you've liked this, make sure you do the like down the bottom and leave a comment as well. Why don't you tell me about your experiences with konbinis and eating in Japan? Are you a fan of Japanese food? Why don't you give me some ideas down below of what I can try or attempt to try? And also subscribe because loads of other videos come in from Japan in addition to the ones I've already done. So I will catch you later.